Hello everyone, I'm David Collar, the founder and CEO of uh, Winco Fireworks. Most everyone in the fireworks business knows the Winco story. You know, my brother and I started out of a 6x12 fireworks stand and all that. We uh, did other businesses along the way. Decided to get in the fireworks business full time. Um, I wanted to be successful at it, so I looked around the industry at other people that were successful. And I found uh, some, uh, some common things. Um, a lot of the people that were successful were in the manufacturing business. So I bought uh, Zenith down in Clinton, Missouri. Uh, a lot of people were in, uh, had a Christmas, New Year's business. So I bought Gulf Coast in Louisiana. And a lot of people were in the retail business. So I looked at retails around the country, did a lot of traveling around the country. And one of the things that I realized far and away, the number one brand that everyone advertised, whether it was a building, a tent, a stand, was Black Hat. So I jumped on the Black Hat bandwagon. And I not only advertised outside, I advertised very heavily inside. So the difference in a black hat tent or a black hat store in its profitability is crazy ahead of anybody else in the market. We have a location that does $100,000 and all of a sudden you have the same expenses but you're really, you know, you're promoting black hat and now you're doing $129,000. So how much more profit do you make off that 29%? Consequently, our stores are some of the most successful. Our customer stores are some of the most successful. We seldom get a guy on the black cat bandwagon that falls off. Because once they get on, they, fit, they find out all these secrets that help make a successful business. The thing about black hat, um, to my knowledge, there's no one else in the industry that checks the product at the component level. So I think we get, I think Black Hat gets a, a better consistency of product as far as performance goes, but way better as far as safety goes. I think the reason that the fireworks industry has grown so, so much since 1976 when uh, consumer product safety basically took over is that they forced the industry to kind of clean up its act. Um, there are still guys out there selling the overloaded product and all of that. Uh, we don't. We feel like uh, we're selling backyard family fun, and we want to preserve that. I think with with any right, any privilege, there comes a responsibility, and the responsibility is to maintain the safety uh, so that people do have a good experience, and they keep coming back for more. <laughs>